Good morning everyone, it's raining, I have to cover the camera here. I have the Volkswagen ID7 Pro here and it's not Hank because this car has 20 inch wheels. Volkswagen gave me this press car because I want to do a comparison between 19 inch and 20 inch wheels. But today I'm doing the 110 kilometers an hour range test. I did 130 with Hank and I got 428 kilometers of range. 174 watt hours per kilometer was my consumption. and. Uh, we'll see what we get here. It's raining today. That's bad, but it shouldn't rain the whole time just now the next hour or so um, And I did with Hank a range test 110 in the winter where I got 380 kilometers consumption of 192 I think and So uh, charge here at the Tesla supercharger 200% I'm already done. I can already go and why 110? Um, not everyone in Germany is driving 130 and more. I see that all the time in my range test. Number two, a lot of countries you cannot drive 130, so 110 is more, uh, the average speed is more uh, achievable. And then the third thing is, it's also a good simulation if you do a mix between, with high, highway and country road. I'm on my way, driving 113 on the speedometer. No, focus, how about that? Um, yes, uh, it started like crazy when I started to drive, but a few kilometers later, it looks a bit better. Con average consumption was 250 when I started, now it's 180, and I drove only a few kilometers. There's a speed limit here now, 120. Since when? It's new. What is this, Switzerland? Go on, don't drive so close that I slow down. I slow down because of you. My climate is at 20 degrees, no AC, in auto, low fan speed, and it's possible I will turn it down. I'm not cold in here, and I'm uh, maybe a tiny bit too warm, we'll see. It's 19 degrees outside. If you wanna see my con my data so far drove 20 kilometers important sadly this car is also like Hank on software 4.0 if you get a new ID7 right now you get 5.0 maybe even earlier at a later version 5.2 or something um, my car was delivered in December with 4.0 and this car seems to be uh, approximately the same age um, has almost the same uh, kilometers, odometer, also um, uh, almost 15,000 kilometers. This car, uh, as you have seen, is white color and it looks amazing. Uh, maybe I chose the wrong color for Hank. The interior with black, I'm happy I took the I took the white interior. This black interior looks dull. That's not my thing. Cindy is okay with it. I don't like it. And it has the glass roof, the one that you can make see-through or not. I don't care about that either. <laughs> I don't need it and it's a bit more weight. So, nah, no need for that. Uh, so this car has everything you can have, a heat pump as well. Um, what it doesn't have is a tow hook. This is the only thing missing in this car that you could have in December for an ID7. Even though this car has the same software as Hank, I already noticed two things that are working here that aren't, work, aren't working in Hank. So when I go to massage, in Hank it always chooses the first uh, massage program automatically. Uh, it just does it. <laughs> uh, and here it remembered my last uh, massage program that I had in and when I am in full time and full intensity it doesn't turn off after a minute this doesn't work in Hank in Hank when I have full intensity it turns off the massage after a minute
I'm at 75% and I drove 102 kilometers. That would mean a full range of 408. Consumption is 179. That's higher than in my 130 test with Hank. So I don't know if it's the tires, 20 inch tires, if it's the weight from the glass roof or the weather. It's 19 to 20 degrees today. When I did Hank's test, it was 20 to 24. Like today, I didn't need AC or heat, so that's no difference here. I have it on 19 degrees now and it's not heating. You can see that when you go into climate and those air thingies are blue, if they're red, then you're heating. And so the only other difference is the weather and it was raining in the first 10 kilometers and was a bit raining like now uh, in between a few times but not really rain and the, the road is maybe a bit moist but most of the times it's dry. That makes higher consumption of course. Um, but we'll see if the 20 inch wheels have higher consumption when I do a side by side test tank in this car. That will be very, very interesting. It's raining again. I'm at 50%, used 50% of the battery and I drove 209 kilometers. That would mean 418 kilometers of range. Consumption went down to 170 and then it went up again. The road is a bit wet, uh, but most of the times it's totally dry and it doesn't rain all the time. It just starts a bit, maybe it runs a t rains a tiny, tiny bit and then goes back to nothing. By the way, I'm in eco mode, totally forgot um, to say that and I have to pass because this car is driving slower than me. I turned around on this stretch, this won't be enough, so I'm pretty sure I have to go back to Deckendorf and then go north and then turn around at some point and go back, so I arrive with around 10% at the charger. Um, if I navigate to it, let's say what it tells me how I arrive and it says 23% so yes I have to do that so we turn that off and I have to turn off heating and everything but I think that's that's done anyways where am I yes no, no adding charger and don't heat up the battery which I don't think I have to and I have to wait I press too much on the yes there we go and yeah it's on perfect temperature because that's amazing thing that in in uh, id cars the perfect temperature for charging is 25 degrees and that's reached very easily no need for heating driving 20 inch wheels since i drove uh hank almost 15,000 kilometers on 19 inch wheels first winter tires and summer tires i can say the following noise level with the 20 inch wheels I don't think I notice any difference. Um, comfort, comfort wise, I think that the 19 inch are a tiny bit more comfortable. Sometimes I feel a bit uh, a vibration in the steering wheel where I'm, oh, never felt that in Hank. Um, and the difference I notice the most is the steering. The st even though they have the same width, um, but the steering feels a tiny bit harder, so heavier, tiny bit, not a, stro not a strong difference to Hank. I think so. <laughs> I could be wrong, of course, it's all nuances, um, but I don't think that these are all any uh, things why you should choose uh, 20 inch or 19 inch wheels. It's, it's, um, we'll see when we, like I said, do the comparison if 19 inch are really that much more efficient but as always driving ID7 I like it in here it's comfortable uh, steering assist travel assist is amazing uh, consumption is okay I'm at 178 right now I think we get a bit of lower consumption now on the way back uh, but the rain and something else is ha has a big influence here it's 17 degrees now it's getting colder ah. Hi, 
I'm at 25%, drove 317 kilometers. I navigate it back now and I should arrive with 360 kilometers. Google Maps says 358. Consumption 176. I'm all numbers. The sun is coming out. Oh my god, and 21 degrees. The heat. <laughs> Still no AC in any or anything. Everything is fine. So I have how much do I have to go back? Can you see there? 41 kilometers, 21 minutes. I hope you can see. Now you can see. If you need an overview for your monthly cost for your EV, if you want to know all the trips that you have taken, what was your average speed, the kilometers driven, all of your charging sessions, what was your, what was your uh, peak charging power, what was your ratio from AC to DC charging, and you don't want to do this all by yourself, then check out Tronity. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and then in the app or in a browser you can see all of this data. They also have a 100% tax compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below. I arrived with 16%. Consumption 173. Ah, go back. I want to see. Uh, it's low, uh, lower than what I had with the 130 test. So I'm back at the supercharger. I arrived with the 16% that I've seen and it gives me a range of 426 kilometers. That's again the same that I had with Hank at 130 and doesn't uh, rain anymore. I would say it would, was around 40% rain and 30% wet road, something like this. And uh, 17 to 21 degrees. So it's not horrible weather, but not the best. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the tires, we'll see. Maybe we do the drive even today with Cindy just uh, uh, wrote me that maybe we do it today depending on long I have to charge and when I arrive and if it's raining. <laughs> Here's all the data by the way from this drive and then I put in the 110 kilometers an hour drive with Hank in the winter and then in a few seconds now <laughs> I put in the 130 test I did in the summer just a few weeks ago. So you can compare these two in the data. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BettyLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third channel here on YouTube, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.